Good evening, Dr. Saban. Thank you for joining us. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Randa, yesterday we just had, I think, its highest uh, number of cases so far. Why are we seeing such surging numbers now? Yeah, um, we, we've seen um, more cases yesterday, uh, and it means that we uh, there's a cluster of infections uh, we, we've seen in the eastern province. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a group of people who are uh, staying in the same compound, um, and the, they are being infected, uh, and, and for sure the conditions that they are living in uh, will we, we explain why there are so many infections in, in that uh, context. But it means also that uh, this virus can spread anywhere um, in, 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 this, in, this, in this world. It's not only in Rwanda, uh, but also it, it's, a, it's a call that uh, we should all uh, think about how can we stop the spread of infections uh, from one place to the other, uh, even to where you don't think the virus would go. It can go there and our mandate, our mission is to stop it and um, to make sure we follow and we treat those who are infected but generally, the, um, the, the cluster or the high numbers of yesterday were all controlled and contained, uh, which, is, uh, which means that uh, the higher number of infections doesn't mean necessarily that um, they are uncontrolled uh, uh, situations. Uh, it means that you need to understand why this happened, why can we do better uh, to stop this spread and prevent um, uh, similar cases in the future. Uh, but we were always uh, concerned when we see more um, new infections when you do random testing. But this group of people living together in a province where you know there's a, a cross-border movements of truck drivers, and we knew that there's so many uh, cases in that, in, in that um, cross-border uh, transport corridor. Mm -hmm. So we were not um, surprised on one side that the eastern corridor uh, near the border, we, we see um, infections, but we're also surprised because um, so many people are infected in a short time in one place, mm -hmm. but they were contained, they were not community transmissions, uh, which is also one good um, message fr fr from that. But uh, yeah, so we've seen hundreds of infections in one day, uh, but these are clusters of infections who are controlled, uh, both in Kirehe in the east, uh, in Goma and uh, in Kigali, of course, yeah. there are also these villages who are in lockdown. And we've seen also, uh, almost the cases we've seen yesterday were the contacts of previously confirmed infections yeah. or uh, the infections within those villages that are under lockdown. Uh, just the detention centers yeah. uh, where we, we, we knew that, that that corridor could be a risk of uh, uh, infections to the uh, communities and the groups of people around. And we have been tracing some cases from the border and cross-border movements from Kirehe. Then during that tracing of contacts, this is how we end up testing all the um, detention centers and other uh, um, communities and other areas. So it happened that we found the, uh, the cases. For us, when you find uh, infections, it's good because you, you're going to contain before it's spread. But also, it, it, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's another uh, hallmark to make sure you don't get those infections in the future. This is what investigation teams are doing uh, to see where exactly this infection came from and what can we do to make sure it doesn't spread in the community in the eastern province. Yeah. And uh, so far, um, we, the work continues. Moving forward, what, what should Rwanda expect? Should we expect higher numbers, probably, or...? Uh, are we almost reaching the peak, as they say? What should we expect moving forward? Nowadays, it's hard to say that you are reaching the peak or not. Uh, but we, we, we know that as people are moving, uh, infections could also move with, with people. Uh, so the, the key message forward is how people can move without moving infections. Mm -hmm. it's, um, there are three things we, we, we expect people to do we must be doing so that we don't get new infections. One is properly uh, wear the masks, uh, social distancing, and also hand washing frequently, as frequent as possible. Mm -hmm. So if people can do all the three measures, uh, we will not have a peak of infections or spread uh, massive transmission. So 
we, we believe that it's an uh, individual responsibility, but also is um, as, as a community and um, uh, country and even beyond the country uh, responsibility to make sure you don't be the origin of the spread of, of infections. So we probably going to uh, live with COVID for longer uh, periods. Uh, so how do we live with it without having these clusters of infections with massive transmissions? Uh, it depends on individuals' actions. Mm -hmm. You do, you protect yourself, but you protect also the others. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Sabeth. Thank you. Thank you, too.